Hi everybody, welcome to Liam's Lights. Today I'm going to show you this Stanley wireless remote system because this is a plug system with a remote and the idea with these is that we will plug our lights into them and that way we can control those lights via the outlet, the electrical outlet, by a uh, remote control here. So this is by Stanley and you'll see that there's a three pack of outlets and one remote control in there. Uh, it says the remote control has a hundred foot range and it's for indoor use only. So there's some more information here. One grounded outlet on each receiver, three outlets total, and the remote control has a button to each unit. So you only need one remote control even though there's three outlets dry locations only, indoor use. And I had actually already cut it open, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open the packaging here. And you'll see that these are numbered one, two, three. And each one has uh, an outlet. And here's the remote control. It comes with the CR2032 battery. And it did say that was included on here. So we've got that, we've got each of these guys, and I'll just get those set out. So we've got uh, just the packaging here, and an instruction manual, which I don't think we'll need, except maybe to set it. Uh, it looks like these are the manual override buttons, so when you have something plugged in, you'll be able to just click this button to turn it on and off, to turn the outlet on and off, but you'll also be able to turn it on and off via these buttons one two and three respectively for each one so it looks like that's the on with the little illuminated light bulb and that's the off with the black light bulb for each outlet and each of these so hopefully these are already pre-coded i will have a quick look at the uh, instructions before we try them out and but i'm going to try them out on video for you guys and you can see how they work Okay, so we just have number one here. We're gonna plug it into the wall and it looks like we do have to do a quick pairing on it, uh, which I will go over with you now. And it says that you have to uh, plug it in, press and hold the power button for five seconds until the LED indicator begins to flash slowly. So, Liam, do you wanna do this part? Press the button and hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a red indicator light there, so we've got that part done. And step two is that we're gonna take the remote and we're gonna press the on-off button for the corresponding number one. Here's number one. And uh, let's see, on, you're gonna turn on and off to, to complete the pairing process. So Liam, can you press this button? And then this button. Okay, so that should pair it. Okay, so we've got it all set up. So we're gonna do a little test here with um, this fixture here. Uh, it's uh, just a simple on off right here. And we've got a triple uh, CFL, triple loop CFL bulb here, which is 120 volts, 60 Hertz. And this one just uh, doesn't have a name on it. So it is a no name bulb, but it does work. So this is uh, just gonna plug this in here to our new setup. And first I'm gonna test this button here and see if that works. It works. Okay, and that's gonna go off. And noting that this is in the on position right now because of course if it was off, it wouldn't turn it on. Um, and then here's the remote here. We're gonna push the on button, see if that works. It works. And off, that works. So we'll probably go ahead later and program the other two as well. So we'll have a total of three um, uh, outlets that we'll be able to control with this. So up to three lights we could have on there. I wonder if you could even split them further, but we'll see, maybe experiment with that a little later. And uh, yeah, just again, noting that that's, that would still turn off and on on its own independently. And then you have the secondary switch here. And uh, there you have it.